Low Country Wildlife is brought to you by 301 Processing and Taxidermy. Hey folks, welcome to Low Country Wildlife. On today's show, we're going trapping. I'm going to take you along on my trap line. We've got some nuisance coyote and nuisance fox need to be caught. Might even pick up a bobcat along the way. It's going to be a great day here at LCW. We want you to go with us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some trapping action. Low Country Wildlife. Hosted by Steve the Legend Drummond and Stacy Atkinson with the LCW Junior Pro Staffers. LCW is sponsored by 301 Processing and Taxidermy, Irby Street Sporting Goods, Marshalls Marine, Maurice Sportsman's Preserve, Palmetto Pulpwood and Timber Company, Sparrow and Kennedy Tractor Company, Black's Camp and Restaurant, World Med Auctions, and Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats. Additional products provided by the following. 301 Processing and Taxidermy has been serving the Carolinas for over 18 years with the most lifelike mounts anywhere. With three full-time taxidermists on site in a state-of-the-art 9,000 square foot facility, they can handle any size order. Deer, wild hogs, turkeys, fish, ducks, you name it, they can mount it. And 301 is the area's only APHIS certified taxidermist that can handle your big game mounts for animals outside of the United States. So, for the most lifelike mounts, give 301 Processing and Taxidermy a call today. Buy, sleep, fish with Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats at Marshalls Marine. Skeeter Boats give you unmatched comfort and style with superior technology and performance that puts you at the head of the pack. Whether it's navigating through shallow inlets or cruising along the coast, Skeeter Boats will get you there without leaving anything or anyone behind. So whatever your budget, there's a Skeeter that's just right for you. Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats, available now at Marshalls Marine in Lake City. For everything outdoors, stop by Irby Street Sporting Goods today. They have the area's largest selection of new and used bows by Matthews. Bowtech and PSE, along with a full-service archery pro shop and a 25-yard indoor range. You can also choose from hundreds of rods and reels for both fresh and saltwater fishing. Irby Street also has a large selection of clothing for men, women, and children. Names like Browning, Guy Harvey, and Drake Waterfowl, along with sunglasses by Costa Del Mar. That's Irby Street Sporting Goods in Florence. June of 2007, uh, we founded World Net Auctions, my wife Michelle and I. We saw the need for, against conventional auctions, contractors spending thousands upon thousands of dollars of freight, moving items, construction pieces to conventional auctions. I got a thousand dollar now, two thousand dollar. It's it, right off of justice, just cut it off, gentlemen, two thousand dollar now, three. It's two thousand dollar now, three. This segment of LCW is brought to you by Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats. So these traps that we set here, all these lures are attractive to any animal. So you're going to catch coons and possums and, and bobcats and coyotes and fox all in the same sets, uh, using the same lures. Having to be a big old, big old coon here. And uh, you know, certain landowners that I trap for do certain things different ways. Some of them. Don't care about the coons, and I'll just release them. Others, like this one here, wants to coon out and gone. So we're going to take him with us. Um, and make him a superstar? Make him a superstar, if he don't make me one first. <laughs> These animals are double jointed, and they'll be on the back of your head in a heartbeat if they have half a chance. Well, I hope that happens. I know you do, CJ. Thank you very much. I had to give me a better camera, man. All right. <laughs> Make this real easy on me, please. Please. Get your hand out the way there. I'm not gonna choke you, I just don't want your head for you to bite me. And I got his hand. Now he knows what that noose is all about. I want you to go in there. I 
I know you know exactly what that thing does now, don't you? I know. You don't like it either, do you? All right, now we cook it. Now we cook it. Watch them back legs, because he can't scratch you. And he is, don't you bite my new muck boot. Quit. Quit. Let go of me. <coughs> bite my boot. Hey, that's not going to be waterproof anymore. Quit. You don't believe that joker there? Look at that. Throw a hole in my new muck boot. Any animal you catch is gonna tear off everything. It don't look nothing like it did before. And I had a lot of people ask me, what do you do? And you're gonna read on the internet and you're gonna read all over the place. People pull traps up and they go move down the field a little bit and they'll set another trap. You hear people say they reset right in the same place. Uh, depending on what animal to catch, whether it's fox or possum, you know, that a lot of people think that one animal won't come behind the other. This is the wild. These animals are looking for food. They don't care if they smell a possum. They don't care if they smell a dead animal. They don't care if they smell blood. They hungry. They always looking for something to eat. And they always looking for their next meal. I find that it does not matter. Set, set. Possum, fox, coyote, bobcat, raccoon, whatever. Another animal will come right back here tonight and come right back in this area and get caught again in this trap. It already smells like animal, so he's already got suspicion something's been, he knows an animal's been here. He thinks another animal's been here with food. So <laughs> smelling this animal in this set don't bother him one bit in the world. But everything is tore up. So there's not really a great way to do it. To where it looks all beautiful. What I usually do is just rake everything you got back behind your set. And use your back, use all this these leaves and stuff as your back or whether it's broom straw or whatever. Like I say, it's not gonna look perfect, but it don't have to look perfect because another animal knows it's, that there's other animals been here. So, you don't have to smell all that good. I like to knock down these hills of dirt where he's running around a circle all night long. I don't like when I have to climb over a hill come down into a gully to get in the trap. So just tear it all back up, kind of level it all back off. Like so, kind of using this old stuff here as you're backing. I always like to get that dirt out the inside of my jaws. Off my plate. You got dirt in your mouth? Dirt in my mouth, in my jaws. Don't get nervous. Oh, uh, them old trash bags are bad to snap on your face, they don't hurt. They, they scare you though. And they throw dirt in your face. Remember, always get your trap below the ground surface. I like mine about a half inch, inch, something like that. Beautiful, that's set perfect. The trapper's cap back on top of it here. Keep the dirt from getting underneath it. Move that around a little bit. Make sure there's no sticks, anything like that, in the jaws of your trap. My sifter. Back under my jaws here real good. So that trap does not move. You don't want that trap to move when he steps on it. So he moves when he steps on it, you won't catch that one. He'll dig your trap up just to let you know he was there. Inside the jaws a little bit. Oh, I thought we were looking for gold. 
No, I think that's on Discovery Channel. Well, you had the sifter out. If I ever find a big old chunk of gold, I'm gonna quit false tripping it. All right, level it all down here. I'm back in where I want it. Remember, I want it pretty tore up. I know another animal's been here. Give it a little shaky shaky. Knock down a little lip here around the edge. People use pan covers. People use little cotton underalls that go under the pan. It all depends on what kind of dirt you're in. If you're in good dirt like this, you don't really need anything. Doing our double, double dirt hole set this time. Come up that corner of your trap. Get the matter of fact, there's my old hole right there from yesterday. I'm gonna set this trap. When we get it down really good. Knock that lip off there. Get fresh dirt. Next we'll try to blend it all in. So it all looks about, about the same. Cover your trap really good. Leave no leaf on it. And that, my friends, will catch you another animal. We'll give you one little trick, trick here. I'll lure this up. Bro. I don't tell you lures because there's so many out there. I don't want people to get some premonition. I know exactly what I'm doing. I've tried a lot of them. Cotton balls are great for putting lures on. Cotton balls are Q-tip. You can take a Q-tip, break it in half, and uh, put your lure in and put it in each hole. Cotton ball holds it really good. Even if it rains, it's going to hold that scent. You stick it to the bottom of your hole. Plus, if you don't use anything else, when they look over the bottom of the hole, they see that white cotton. They think feathers, fur, they smell, they see, they want it. And they start digging. When they start digging, they're moving their feet. And they're moving their feet while that trap's on them. And eventually, game over. And they'll be stuck there. All right, folks, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're gonna check some more traps. Don't go anywhere, LCW Predator Trapping. Buy, sleep, fish. With Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats at Marshalls Marine, Skeeter Boats give you unmatched comfort and style with superior technology and performance that puts you at the head of the pack. Whether it's navigating through shallow inlets or cruising along the coast, Skeeter Boats will get you there without leaving anything or anyone behind. So whatever your budget, there's a Skeeter that's just right for you. Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats, available now at Marshalls Marine in Lake City. If you love the outdoors, then you'll love all the variety of sporting options at Maury's Sportsman's Preserve. From Maury's world-class upland bird hunting to year-round sporting clays to seasonal hunting opportunities for duck, hog, and deer, Maury's Sportsman's Preserve offers all these hunting activities without a large financial investment. Maury's also offers golf packages and corporate outings as well. For more information on Maury's Sportsman's Preserve, visit online at maurispreserve.com. Black's Camp is a full-service fishing camp located on the Santee Cooper Lakes that's been serving South Carolina since 1951. Stay overnight or spend the weekend fishing in one of our waterfront apartments, cabins, or mobile homes. Plus, find everything for your fishing trip from live bait to hooks and lures in our tackle shop. And you'll also find a full-service restaurant that serves up the best food on the lakes. Black's Camp and Restaurant. Call today or visit us online to schedule your next fishing adventure. In June of 2007, uh, we founded World Net Auctions, my wife Michelle and I. We saw the need for, against conventional auctions, contractors spending thousands upon thousands of dollars of freight, moving items, construction pieces to conventional auctions. I got a thousand dollar now, two thousand dollar. It's it, right off of justice, just cut it off, gentlemen, two thousand dollar now, three. It's two thousand dollar now, three. 
Welcome back, folks. <clears throat> so, we're going to check predator traps this morning, and, you know, there's all kind of different opinions on trapping, and, and, you know, so many people's against it, and <clears throat> the few people that are for it are scared to say anything because it takes much criticism from everybody, but the fact is, if you got predators on your property, and there are predators everywhere, there's no way to get rid of them but trapping. If you are a quality deer manager, if you manage quail, if you manage your rabbits, if you manage your turkeys, whatever you manage, when you manage these things to get an abundant supply, or I'll say not abundant supply, the correct supply, the adequate level you need that your property can sustain, that brings in predators because you've created a food source to them, whether it's yearling deer for the coyotes, bobcats, yearling deer, bobcats, turkeys, um, all the way down to the possum. People don't even understand that. A possum or coon. They say, well, why in the world would you mess with them? Why would you worry about trapping them? Because that flock of turkeys you saw out there in the field yesterday when you drove by, that possum and that coon can kill that whole flock of turkeys while it's in the nest, when it's still eggs. And if he finds a nest of eggs, he will eat every last one of them. That goes that flock you just saw yesterday in the field, they're gone. Took care of them. So, you know, they're also dangerous predators. Not dangerous, they're just predators. They're looking for their meals. So the thing is with the predators is you got to get them off. If you don't get them off, they're going to hurt your game population. So, you know, I heard a guy one time say something very, one of the smartest things I've ever heard about predator trapping. He said, think about it. If you're trying to grow big turkeys, if you're trying to grow big bucks, big racks, they have to eat. They have to eat good. So they have to constantly feed to have the nourishment they need to grow big animals, to grow big beards. Uh, if you have coyotes, fox, and bobcats on your place, these are natural predators, deer and turkeys. If you have these animals on your place, and a deer or a turkey has to worry all the time about being caught or being eaten, he's always on alert. A deer is always on alert anyway. But you think about this, if a deer's walking through the woods and he's feeding, he's got his head on the ground feeding, the whole time he's walking, he's eating. That animal, that, that deer's growing big animals. But you think about a deer that's having to constantly look for coyotes, his head's always in there. Which one's gonna grow, grow bigger? The one with his head on the ground or the one with his head in there? The one on the ground. He's gonna be feeding while the other one's having to look for coyotes. Take the coyotes off the place, fuck the bobcats off the place. You don't have to worry about that stuff. That animal, the animals and turkeys can feed, not worry about nothing getting them. They'll grow big, and that is part of being a quality manager of your property and your animals. So. I know you don't like to hear me talk a whole lot, but I think that was a point well, well made about, worth saying about um, you know, the predator trapping. It is a vital, important part of your management of your land. So anyway, let's go check some traps and quit talking so much. All right, folks, we got us a great fox this morning. Big old great fox too. Old buddy Rowe. My uncle called me and said he had a gray fox eating his cat food off his porch. So we come right here to his house and set a trap. The house is really about a hundred yards through the woods right there. I kind of knew where that fox was living. So we'll see if we can get him out here. Dude, I'm gonna take your foot out of that thing if you give me just a minute. There we go. All right, I ain't hurting you. I ain't hurting you. Whew, that's rough, though. There we go. See, it ain't so bad. It ain't so bad. Peeing on my boot, biting my boot. Perfect. If it's not hurt, it's a little bit mashed. It'll straighten out by this afternoon. He'll be good to go. Not happy though. Folks, these animals will not hurt you. They're not trying to hurt you. If they see you, they're going to ruin. They do not want to be nowhere near you, but you've heard your whole life. He'd mess with you if he was cornered. 
that animal in the trap, he's cornered. He will hurt you. He can't leave you. He can't run from you. The only option he has is to fight you. When they're trapped like that, you have to be careful. They, are, they will bite you in a hurry. But now, if you come up on that animal in the woods and scare him, he is going to run as hard as he can run. Coats, fox, bobcats, coons, possums, whatever. They don't even know where near you. They don't want to attack you. They don't want to bite you. They want to get away from you. They're scared to death of you. You got him cornered in that trap, that's a different story. He knows he can't flee. He's got to fight, and they will bite you. You see how calm he got right there? Now he's out of that trap. He's calmed down. He's fine. He's not hurt a bit. We'll take him to another place and let him go. But uh, that, that's it. There ain't nothing to it. Gray fox, quail, rabbits, turkeys, that right there will get him. He'll eat eggs. He'll eat everything he can get, even cat food off my uncle's porch. <laughs> but he's not going to eat any more cat food right here. We're going to throw him in the back of the truck, and we're going to check some more traps. All right, so sometimes you catch non-target animals, uh, such as a crow. And all he did was, he could see that hole and just see the dirt tore up, see them cotton balls in the bottom of the hole, he thought some food, so he's coming out here to get him some food. And I'm stepping in the trap. He is not hurt, he's wanting to bite me though. You got to turn loose the trap or I can't let you out, buddy. There we go. So, there he is. That just shows you the kind of traps they are. You know, he's not hurt. He's not, don't have no broke bones or anything. So, he's good to go. It'll hold a coyote and it won't hurt a crow. All right, you ready to go? Here we go. Released unharmed, the conservationist that LCW is. I'm going to reset this trap real quick, take a quick commercial break, we'll come back. We've got some more traps to check, and uh, I'm sure we got some more games somewhere. Don't go anywhere, LCW. Be right back. Sparrow and Kennedy Tractor Company is your official John Deere tractor and equipment dealer with five locations in South Carolina to serve you. No matter what work you have around the farm or in your backyard, Sparrow and Kennedy has the right equipment to fit your needs. And whether it's work or just for fun, the Gator XUV 4x4 gets you where the job has to get done. For quality outdoor power equipment, Sparrow and Kennedy sells a complete line of world-renowned steel power tools. When the job has to get done, think Sparrow and Kennedy. Blocks Camp is a full-service fishing camp located on the Santee Cooper Lakes that's been serving South Carolina since 1951. Stay overnight or spend the weekend fishing in one of our waterfront apartments, cabins, or mobile homes. Plus, find everything for your fishing trip from live bait to hooks and lures in our tackle shop. And you'll also find a full-service restaurant that serves up the best food on the lakes. Black's Camp and Restaurant. Call today or visit us online to schedule your next fishing adventure. If you love the outdoors, then you'll love all the variety of sporting options at Maury's Sportsman's Preserve. From Maury's world-class upland bird hunting to year-round sporting clays to seasonal hunting opportunities for duck, hog, and deer, Maury's Sportsman's Preserve offers all these hunting activities without a large financial investment. Maury's also offers golf packages and corporate outings as well. For more information on Maury's Sportsman's Preserve, visit online at maurispreserve.com. At Palmetto Pulpwood and Timber Company, we do more than just harvest your land. Reforestation and land management is our specialty. Our number one goal is to manage your track and reclaim it to create new supplemental income or wildlife management areas. Palmetto Pulpwood and Timber Company is not your everyday timber company. Find us online at palmettopulpwood.com talking about management the whole time you manage deer you manage turkeys you got to manage your, your uh, predators also you don't want to go in and annihilate the whole population you don't wanna kill them all because there is a reason behind them I mean they do help a lot of the ecosystem and stuff so don't take all the animals off so this coon here we've caught a couple of coons off this farm I feel like I've caught enough down to where we don't need to take any more off here so we don't want to catch them all 
So uh, we're going to take this one right here, and we're going to release him. He's not hurt a bit. You can tell he looks like he's really in distress laid up. He's not happy about me being here, but he's not hurt. You can tell if he was, he'd be raising all kind of cane, and he'd be bleeding and all that, but he's just not. He's not hurt. Trapping, if you're going to trap folks, you have to do it humanely, and you have to learn how to do your traps to where you're not hurting the animals, you're just holding the animals. It's a very efficient way to get animals off your property, and people think, oh, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. You, you're catching animals by the foot, and they think big bear traps with teeth, and it's just not the case anymore. Trapping's come a long way, it's just like everything else. Technology is a great thing when it comes to stuff like this because you can get, get game off your property, predators off your property, take care of your game, and uh, without hurting them and while, without uh, being inhumane. And that's the whole key here. You want to take animals, but you don't want to be. Uh, be doing it to where the animal's hurt or the animal's uh, in distress the whole time he's in a trap. So, Sam was fine. We'll go release him. He's not going to like it, but he's gonna, I'm going to try to release him. Calm down. I promise you, if you let me get your foot out, I don't want to hurt your foot. All right, just hold still right. Hold still right. One minute. Don't bite my boot. What is up with y'all this bite my boot all week long? Turn loose my boot now. Y'all will be tore up all my boots this week. That's still toad. I don't think you can bite that. Alright. Run, Forrest, run. Folks, we've turned him loose. He's fine. He's going to go off there and find him a girlfriend and have a bunch of babies for next year so I can come back and catch some more. And uh, he'll be back eating corn in the corn pile here in no time. Well, guys and gals, that's going to wrap up another LCW episode. We've had fun with you traveling along with us on the trap line. Got to see some cool animals. Hope you learned something along the way, uh, especially about trapping. You know, trapping takes a lot of heat from a lot of people, but it's like anything else. It's bad trappers, it's good trappers. Bad hunters, good hunters. It's bad people, good people. If you want the good ones, don't worry about what the bad ones say. Team LCW's always got your back. Do everything honest. Do everything ethically. Treat animals with respect. Good Lord, put them here for us to use, and that's what we do is use them. So check us out online this week at LowCountryWildlife.com. Team Low Country Wildlife on Facebook. You guarantee we'll be back on the water in the bushes next week. Do it at LCW style.